Today, we take a look at a couple of incoming Tennessee basketball transfers. If you haven't yet, please share and subscribe to help grow the channel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Rick Barnes and Tennessee are itching to get to a Final Four, but fell short while still having a fairly successful season despite a few setbacks. They finished tied fourth in the SEC with the top 25 ranking, getting to their first Sweet 16 since 2019. Best could be a Mayshack return while it's unsure what Phillips and Jordan end up doing with the NBA draft process. Barnes didn't waste much time adding a high-level big guard and forward to the Volunteers roster depth. Today's video is powered by SeatGeek. Get $20 off any tickets sold using promo code AntWright on the SeatGeek app or website. Chris Ledlam is a 6'6", 225-pound forward transfer from Harvard. He led them in scoring, rebounding, steals, and second in block shots. Nationally, he's 50th in scoring and 71st in rebounding. Recently had a 35-point, 13-rebound, and 6-steal outburst at Cornell. Personnel-wise, he fits as an undersized four-man that causes matchup problems with his strength and style of play. He's a light version of David Roddy from Colorado State. Efficient from within 18 feet and a bit streaky from long distance and should be better from the free throw line with how strong he is and due to the amount of fouls he draws on the defense. He's a tough, physical player who makes his living with his presence in the paint, whether driving or sealing weaker defenders underneath. He has two more years left of eligibility. Dalton Connect is one of the top names in the portal and probably the best available player not many people know about. The 6'6", 200-pound guard transfer out of Northern Colorado is a serious prospect. He has really good size, good length, and athleticism. Connect put up 20.2 points per game, ranking 24th in the entire country, along with 7.2 rebounds on 48% shooting from the floor and 38% from long distance. To dig deeper, he was rated in the 92nd percentile for overall half-court offensive efficiency. Most of his scoring possessions came out of a pick and roll where he was in the 80th percentile, which is really good for his size, and had 111 possessions spotting up where he was rated in the 95th percentile. And he was comfortable with no dribble jumpers or attacking off the bounce. I see him translating as a two, three, or small ball four at the high major level with his toughness and rebounding ability while giving other four men an impossible assignment. Extremely versatile perimeter player you can plug wherever he's needed. He's a former Juco guy, so you already know he isn't afraid of anything or any challenge. Dan Dockage Can't guard me